time to take a look at Midjourney. Midjourney is an AI image-based tool that uses natural language to generate images. So you actually prompt messages in Discord here. So I hit the backslash or forward slash actually, apologies. And you'll see that there's a couple options here. For this, we'll just start with an imagine prompt. And here I can type in anything. So let's just do map, graphic, red, color. It will take a couple minutes to prompt. As this is uh, loading, I do want to mention there's two versions of Midjourney. One is a free version. And then if you want a personalized bot, then you pay a subscription cost and you can uh, use it that way. You can come to midjourney.com and go to the prompt section here. And this is really helpful for understanding how to use these prompts. So for instance, it will give examples for the types of things that it's looking for and really want to be as specific as possible. So if you hit this explore prompting, you'll see that there's different styles that you can ask for. And that just helps in trying to get what you're actually trying to get out of the tool. So for instance, if I come here and I want more of a life drawing of a map, or maybe, I mean, this looks kind of interesting, or maybe rhizograph map, I could go Imagine rhizograph map of Atlanta. All right, so now that I've generated those images, I'm kind of interested in this 3D map because maybe I could start to build off of that. And this is somewhat intriguing. So what you can do here is there's the U's and the V's. So we'll go to this version and you can also add to the prompt as well. And we'll go three. So it's one, two, three, four. And then if you hit, we'll do the use as well. So that will generate a final image here. And then you can take that to Photoshop and do additional manipulations. This, la this first one too. So let's add a variation. Oh, it didn't let me do a variation. Okay, let's do a variation here. All right. So yeah, this could be used as either an inspiration. I find that Midjourney is really good at just exploring ideas. It might not be your final thing that you choose or go with, but it's definitely good at generating ideas, exploring different things, and maybe you discover something that you didn't really think of before, and then you can go and build off of that. Uh, Midjourney is also great for creating textures. So I can come here and I will go gradient, Texture, pattern, monochromatic. Okay, so I guess it added circles to that drawing. So really nice that you can just sort of keep on building on these items. Okay, so this texture might be kind of interesting down here on the left. I can go V4 and we're going to add some color to this light reddish gradient and then texture and just see what happens there okay so it added some red you can keep on adding things we're going to do one of my favorite items in midjourney which is actually adding your own images to midjourney which is okay so i just dragged and dropped an image in there and then i can right click and i can do a copy link and then I can type in imagine and I will paste that link and I will go enhance. I'm going to use some of that terminology here. And we're actually going to just type in block print. So then it will take that image and let's see what it does. As that's loading, I want to jump back over to the Midjourney site and you can see here that you can get pretty specific. So in this user guide, you can come down to parameters and this is where you can start to add different types of more very specific uh, commands and adjustments that you want. So you can change the quality, the aspect ratio. There's a lot of different things that you can do within this and that's how you can really start to fine tune 
uh, Mid Journey even more. The next item that I really like about Mid Journey is doing a blend. So I can add two images. So let's do that. I'll add this image. And then maybe I can add like a texture type of image. So let's actually like go up to maybe, I want a more, well, okay, let's just try this. I'm going to try some other blends as well as that's loading. And this time I'm going to actually use a word. Then we're going to, so first I'll do it with this map and we'll go boom. And you can also add prompts to that and yeah, just look through that website for those specific prompts. You can weight these items in different ways. So you can weight the images differently if you want more or less of, of something. Uh, and this is just, uh, this is <laughs> crazy. Oh my gosh. This is kind of cool. And it won't get the letters exactly right, but it will, you know, might just spark some ideas. Um, and you can start to work with topography, topography maybe. So let's come back to this and we'll go image. And you can even add up to five images, which is really cool. And we'll go so a couple of things to note about Mid Journey as well is that sometimes things are very symmetrical and it's, um, yeah, so you have to watch that, uh, watch out for that, that things don't get too symmetrical. And another thing is, is they typically try to place humans or faces in the image very, very frequently. In order to mitigate that, let's take this example again and I'll copy this link and I'm going to do imagine. And I'm going to do the same prompt, I guess, which was monochrome. But this time I will do a humans minus point, minus zero point. So same prompt, but then we're tweaking it a little bit. Ooh, this kind of came out interesting is the long story short it looks like it looks like it added humans okay this time we're going to try just no humans and see what happens <laughs> 